Let's see how we can use Vue.js with our Algolia client. So right here, they have a pretty cool documentation. So we're just going to be following it step by step like in the last video. So right here, it requires us to install using npm. So I'll just go ahead to my terminal and I'll paste that. So npm install Algolia search. Now while that is installing, I'll go ahead and create a new view component, which is going to be in charge of searching our users. So I'll just say, so I'll just say right in my resources, assets, JS directory in my components, I'll create a new one. And this is going to be search dot view right here. Okay. And I need to register that in my app the JS. So I'll put it right here and this is going to be search and this is going to be search dot view right there. Okay. So that's set. And how is my search dot view components going to look like? Let's just head over to my application and see what we have at the moment. Okay. So obviously I need to log in. Let me just register a new account for myself. So Katy France under my email is going to be Katy and my password is going to be password. Okay. So new accounts registered. Now I can create a post and all that. Okay. But what I want is actually to put a search bar right here. Okay. So before I actually see this post, I just want to have a search bar where I can just type and then the users that are found can be displayed to me. So I'll have a template and this template is going to have obviously a container and a row and it's going to be centralized. So I'll just put a column large and it's going to be of six columns and I'll just say column large offset of three. So that makes 12. Okay. So right here, I'm just going to have an input dot input large dot form control and uh, the type is going to be text. Okay. So that's how the template is going to look like. And uh, the next thing I'm going to have is immediately after this input, I'll just have immediately after this input, I'll just have a place where I can display the results. Okay. So however you want it, you can go ahead and create a drop down for all of this, but I'm just going to keep it simple and focus on what we are trying to do here. So right here, I'm just going to have a diff dot row. And in here, we're going to display our results. Okay. So now for the script, we have to export the components and we'll just go ahead and set our mounted property as usual. Okay. So right before we export, what are we going to be doing right here? So let's head over to our documentation. And the first thing for us to start using this is to initialize the index. Okay. And uh, think of the index as, let me just duplicate this and show you right there. So if I head over to my dashboard and right here, you see that index just stands for like one table from our database that we just imported. So that's what an index is. It just stands for a database table. You can think of it like that. And the uh, first thing we need to do is import Algolia search. Okay. So, so we require Algolia search in the next thing we need to do is just initialize the client and we use the app ID and the API key right there. Okay. So we'll just initialize the, the clients right there. And uh, we'll get the application key from our .env file. So here we have the app ID and we also need to get the API key right there. Okay. So that's the clan it's set. And the last thing is actually to define what index we're going to be searching on. Okay. So for example, you can see I have multiple indices, but I need to search particularly on the user's table. And of course, all of these indices are coming out from different projects. Okay. So you can go ahead and use this for multiple applications as you want. Okay. So the next thing is to initialize what database table I'm going to be using. Okay. So as you can see right there, I'm searching in my users table, or we can call it the users index. So now that that's set, we set up our index, we set up the client, and we've already brought in Algolia. Okay. So everything is set. Now, what do we want to do in this mounted method? Let's go ahead and actually search Algolia as soon as the component is mounted. Okay. And I'm going to search Algolia for my name. Okay. So how do we do this? I'm just going to say index dot search and it's just like defined right there. So index dot search and then we pass in what we want to search and we pass in a callback. Okay. So index dot search something. And right here, I'm just going to search my name just for demonstration purposes. And I'm just going to receive the error and the content that was passed back from that query. And in my callback, I'm just going to console.log if there were any errors and console.log the content. Okay. So that's it. Our search is already set up pretty simple. Okay. So let's go ahead and mount this component and see what happens when it's mounted. Okay. So first we have to run gobwatch and uh, we need to mount that component in our app.blade.php so as to see it. 
So head over to my app.blade.php or you can enhance it wherever you want. Just so we can see on all pages, I'll go ahead and mount it right there. Okay, so I mounted my search components and let's go ahead and give this a reload. Okay, so that's a component, but everything looks weird, but normally it would have searched. Let's see right there in our console, we have an object, okay? And we have hits three. So right there we have three objects. Obviously the first result is mine and the next is something that looks like that, cat rhyme. And also the last one is also is something that looks like that, okay? So Caden or whatever. Okay, so that's it. We're receiving our data from Algolia. Okay, so in the next video, we're going to fix this mess and we're also going to use the input to actually search for data.